But first, 9 on your side's Craig Smith is live near the farm now with more on cleanup and the search for a cause. Craig. You know, no, none of the workers at the farm and none of the animals at the farm were hurt, but you know, that many bales of hay catching fire led to a blaze that you could see across a very wide part of this area. Now, workers at the ranch noticed the fire about 5.30 last night. Soon it was sending a huge glow across the night sky. The fire destroyed an estimated 20 thousand bales of hay and the shed that covered it. The fire was so intense, five fire departments joined in the fight. Once the fire was mostly out, firefighters from the Tahana Otham Fire Department worked to tear open the smoldering hay and keep it from flaring up all over again. The hay was sold across the region to people with personal horses and to farmers and ranchers who need feed for their livestock. The farm does grow other things to sell, but the farm is closed for now. We are waiting for the Thonawatham Fire Department to give us the green light to start operating. Uh, once we are given that uh, opportunity, uh, we at the farm will assess uh, you know, our losses, if you will, and move forward uh, with operations. I don't anticipate that happening until next week. Now, now, federal agencies handle a lot of the investigations on tribal land, and that's what's happening in this case. No one's proposed a cause. Now, large concentrations of hay can actually heat up and catch fire on their own. How that works, it's spontaneous combustion. A little water starts a bacteria bloom. Those bacteria produce a special sort of chemistry that actually heats up the hay. But again, there is no conclusion on the cause of this blaze just yet. Reporting live, Craig Smith, KGUN 9, on your side.